Hello everyone, in this video, I'm going to discuss how to sketch the graph for the absolute value. Given the situation j modulus of 2 minus x plus 1. So now I'm going to show you how to sketch the graph. So first of all, we are going to define the situation. So as we all know, based on the definition for absolute value is equals to x and the domain is x greater or equals to 0. For negative x, the domain will be less than 0. So now we are going to define j. So modulus of 2 minus x plus 1. Based on the definition, we will focus on the absolute value, which is positive 2 minus x plus 1. And the domain will be 2 minus x greater or equals to 0. For the second part, we have negative bracket 2 minus x plus 1. As I mentioned earlier, we only focus on the absolute value part. So 2 minus x will be less than 0. So now I'm going to simplify the situation. 2 minus x for the absolute value plus 1 equals 2. We're going to simplify. So we have 3 minus x and the domain would be x less than or equals to 2. For the second part, which is blue in color, so we have x minus 1 and the domain would be x greater than 2. So again, I name it as part A and the blue color as part B. So now we can see for the part A, actually this is a linear graph. For the part B as well, this is a linear graph. So it is a straight line. So by referring to the line in A, which is green in color, the direction of the line will be towards the left because the coefficient for x is a negative. For B, which is blue in color, the coefficient of x is positive, so the graph will be towards the right because it is a positive. So now, in order to sketch the graph, we need two points for the situation linear. So for part A, which is green in color, okay, so the function is y equals to 3 minus x. So we need two points. But do remember, we have to refer to the domain. x less than or equals to 2. So my suggestion will be x equals to 2. And the value of y will be equals to 1. So we have to coordinate 2, 1. Next value, I'm going to suggest less than equals to 2, which is x equals to 0. y will be equals to 3. So the coordinate will be 0, 3 for part A. If for part B, which is blue in color, the function is y equals to x minus 1. And the domain state that x must be greater than 2. So again, I'm going to pick the value 2. But do remember, 2 is not included. And later on, I'm going to represent them with empty circle. So x will be equal to 2 and the value of y will be equal to 1. So the coordinate will be 2, 1. Another value, I'm going to suggest x equals to 4. So the value of y will be equal to 3. So the coordinate will be 4, 3. So now we are really ready with part A and part B. So now I'm going to sketch the graph. So now we are going to sketch the graph. So by referring to part A, which is green in color, and I'm going to plot 2, 1 and 0, 3. So now begins with 2, 1. 2, we have here 1, here 2. And we have here 0, here 1. So the coordinate will be then circle 2, 1. Another point, 0, 3. So as we all know, here 0. 
here 1, here 2, and here 3. Okay, so I'll label it 0, 3. This one will be 2, 1. Okay, so now let's move on to the part B, which is blue in color. So I'm going to plot 2, 1, which is not included. So I'm going to represent them with an empty circle. Next point will be 4, 3. So it begins with 2, 1, with an empty circle. So as we all know, this will be the situation. 4, 3. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4. And we have 3 right here. So that will be the coordinate 4, 3. So next I'm going to have a line, meaning that I'm going to connect the point. So let's begin with the green in color, left hand side. So this will be my line. Next, I'm going to proceed with the right hand side, which is a blue in color. So this one will be my line. Next, I'm going to label it. So we all know y equal to 3 minus x. And for the right hand side, y is equals to x minus 1. So now we already have the graph. So the domain for the green in color will be x less than equals to 2. And for the blue in color, which is on the right hand side, will be x greater than 2. So the domain for this case would be negative infinity until infinity. For range, we need to refer to the diagram, refers to the value of y. So for this case, the minimum value would be 1 until maximum value, which is a positive infinity. So this is referring the value of x, this one referring to the value of y. So here we are and thanks for watching.